there. I hope you are ready to join me in class today in Fighting Live. So we are going to kind of move the junk out of the body. A great way for active recovery to happen. And we'll accomplish that with some uh, twisting poses and some breath work. And otherwise, I hope you enjoy it. So my name is Jen, and I'm a licensed athletic trainer and registered yoga teacher. And you have found some by Jen. Uh, here we go. We're going to get started. You don't need anything. We're going to do some mat work to start. And I find that that kind of work is really important, particularly with a twisting practice. We really want to make sure that we are protecting the spine. So in order to do so, we're going to create that internal uh, support system by engaging our uh, deep abdominal muscles. So we are going to start on our back. And make sure you just have some space around you. Again, no props needed. So here we go. We're going to start on our back. So getting ourselves situated, feet are going to be about underneath the knees and hip distance apart. <clears throat> Take notice of the, the spine position. So we all have this kind of lumbar, low back curve where we can slide uh, the hand underneath. Some of, some of us have bigger uh, lower back curves than others. So just for a moment, I just want you to play with positioning of that lower back. And that will involve kind of connecting your low, your low back down into your mat, up and down, and then lifting the belly button up towards the sky. So just play with that positioning. And you'll notice some arching in the back. Okay? You'll notice a little bit of chest lift. That's okay. We're just exploring. So, as we start to dabble with the position of the low back, let's make that arching knee a little bit bigger. We'll feel the pelvis begin to rock forward. And then we'll go ahead and tuck the pelvis back under, flattening the low back. Go ahead and tip forward and rock back. Good. So take a few more rows. Keep getting to mobilize those big, stable bones that comprise our low back. And having control of that movement is super important. So we can uh, establish that just by exploring it, exploring that movement. Right. So I'm going to ask you to find kind of that neutral, that middle ground between flattening and arching. Find that middle ground. And then I'm going to invite you to take your hands up towards the sky. Fingers are going to spread wide, facing into each other. And we're going to reach up towards the sky, lifting the shoulder blades away from the floor. And then setting them back down. Good. Take a deep breath in. Reach up towards the sky. Exhale. Settling them back down. So just check in with our shoulders today. I'm going to lift my left leg, knee stacking over the hip. And then my right so I've got this 90 degree angle action, 90 degree uh, angle action here. And you'll notice that this low back is going to want to arch. Find that subtle engagement. And we're going to hold here and we're going to take three breaths. In through the nose and out through the mouth. Good. Inhale again. And out through the mouth. One last deep breath in. Feeling the ribs expand. Exhale, the ribs will internally rotate back and towards the midline of the body. Okay. Hands are going to stay right where they are. We're going to keep those muscles right in this midsection engaged. And I'm going to go ahead and extend my left leg. The heel will hover the earth. Inhale it back to neutral. Exhale, the right foot is going to reach out. Heel will hover. And back to neutral. Inhale. Exhale, left. Inhale, the center. Exhale, right. Inhale, the center. What's going on in the low back? Check in there. Exhale. Inhale, the center. Exhale, right. Inhale, the center. One last. Round, exhale, 
Inhale to center. Inhale. And inhale to center. Nice job. Set the feet down. Place the hands right onto the quad. We'll tuck our feet in a little bit closer to our sitting bones. And we've done a little work to start and maybe things are with these feet. So let's breathe in through the nose. And then we're going to forcefully exhale through the mouth. Curl the chin up towards the chest. Lift the shoulder blades up. Uh, so it's back to two to zero. Go ahead and work off the two of All right. Here we go. Inhale. Exhale forcefully through the mouth and curl up. We're going to hold here on empty for three, for two, for one. Breathe in and exhale out through the mouth. Now, if there's any reason why we should not be holding our breath, you know this, um, you can breathe normally. Right? You don't have to retain the breath. So let's go ahead and inhale. Exhale forcefully through the mouth and curl up. Good, and we're holding for three. We're holding for two. Press the hands into the thighs. For one. Inhale. Exhale it out. Good, last one. Breathe in. Exhale out. Hold empty. Press the hands into the thighs. For three. For two. For one. Good, inhale back to the start. Taking our right ankle, we'll go ahead and cross that foot right over our left knee. Getting into a nice little figure four. So the toes are going to stay active. We're going to work to press this right leg away from the body. Create that connection just to start. And then threading the hands through, let's go ahead and grab the hamstring. And if you happen to have a towel or a stretch out step nearby, you need to kind of help yourself out, go for it. This left foot is going to be lifted. Imagine as if I'm placing my left foot against the wall and I'm pressing it in. So I created that little muscle engagement here. My right knee is working away from my body. And I'm here in figure four, stretch and I'm breathing. Great. One more round here. Exhale it. Go ahead and step that left foot back down and recross the leg. So a few subtle check-ins, what's going on with this knee. So work the left knee away from the face, grounding down on my right foot. Setting up the shape here for figure four. And you might notice that one side feels different from the other. And that's okay. Our bodies are naturally asymmetrical. We want to get them close, but they are never going to be exactly the same. That is normal. Okay. So here we go. I'm in my figure four. I'm going to lift my right foot. My toes are active on both feet, and I'm imagining as if I've got this right foot pressing into the wall. <clears throat> so I'm here. I'm working my left knee away from my face. And just noticing the different sensations that are going on within the hip, maybe a low back. Am I connected to what's going on at the feet? Good. Another inhale. Exhale. Let's go ahead and set that right foot back down, uncross the leg, put the feet really wide, and we'll just table a windshield wiper to release the hips. Really creative game, right? And we are going to make our way to a comfortable seat. So I'm going to rock and roll front to back. If that is not kind of in your wheelhouse, you can turn to the side and get yourself up into a comfortable seat. <clears throat> All right. Hugging the knees in if you're going to rock and roll with me. So I'm going to generate a little momentum, start small. And take as many that you need, a little massage for the back. And here I am in my comfortable seat. All right. So sitting up nice and tall, putting out any of the last little fidgets, and let's extend the legs out front. So we all have different hamstring flexibility, right? So we can create a little space by bending the knees. Why don't we all do that to start? So we're going to sit up nice and tall. I'm going to take my right foot and bring it in towards the body. And then I'm working my 
by street light, which is less. I'm working it towards street, but if that's not street today, and it's then it's okay. It's all progress, right? It's not process of right? So I'm going to sit up nice and tall, give that knee a little hug. <clears throat> Lifting up tall as I ground down to create that opposition. And then as I inhale, we'll create that additional space between the vertebrae. And I'll begin to rotate my chest towards the bent knee side. So I'm rotating the chest, I'm not putting my hand down back yet, until I meet kind of like that max rotation. Put my hand behind. <clears throat> Breathe in here, let's get tall. And use that exhale to make use of the space that we're making. Get back to the start, hug that left knee in, extend the right leg out. So reset up, sitting up nice and tall. <clears throat> Take a nice big breath, and then begin to exhale, opening the chest towards the bent knee. And then we can use that kickstand arm in the back to help keep us nice and upright. A little kickstand. Breath in, lift, breath out, we ring out and twist. You'll see that trend here today in this practice. Breath in, breath out. You really truly do soften through the midline of the body. You are able to rotate uh, just even a bit more. All right, so we're going to come back to neutral, taking the soles of the feet together. I'll turn to the feet so you can see me. Or butterfly here and if they are hiking way up here work your feet away from from the groin area okay. so i'm gonna sit up nice and tall right, let's all do that together actually inhale shoulders up exhale rock them down and away from the ears creating a little, a little bit of neck motion i'm going to imagine that my nose is a little magic marker and I'm moving in one direction, creating little nose circles. My nose circles will get bigger. And then my nose circles will get really, really big. And then once these nose circles are the biggest that they can be, we're going to pause and reverse it. Other direction, really big circles. And then medium circles. And then little tiny circles. Awesome stuff. All right. We're ready to move. Are you guys getting ready to move? All right, let's do this. So I'm going to crisscross the ankles. Take my hands. We're going to interlace. Reach those knuckles forward. Rounding through the upper back, that's called protraction. So we're going to round through the upper back. Knuckles are reaching forward. Exhale, soften the shoulder. Go ahead and invert the palm. A nice forearm stretch and reach up towards the sky. Take a big breath in. Exhale, side bend towards your right. Inhale to center. Exhale left. Inhale back to the center. We'll take our hands right behind the hips. So I'm going to turn sideways because you'll want to see that view. All right, so the hands will come behind us. And we'll sit our hands out. And the feet will step right on the ground. So we're going to do something called a, a bear roll. And we're going to accomplish that by lifting the hips and coming up and over. Kind of a little playful move, right? Come back to the start. Exhale. Inhale up and over. Exhale. Inhale back up and over. Exhale. Good. Come back. Right where we started. Step the hips down. We'll stay in this bear sit position. The feet are grounded. We're going to sit up nice and tall. And we'll take a few cat cows through the rack. Fine, but drawing the chin towards the chest. 
broadening through the collarbones. Inhale, rounding. Exhale, open up the chest. Finding that middle ground, that neutral spine, taking the hands out in front. So the hands are going to come out in front. We're going to sit back just a little bit. And we're going to do a little bow and arrow action with the arms to open up the thoracic spine. So taking my left hand here, and there's a little wiggle, I'm going to pull back, and then sweep it forward. So hips are going to stay square, pull back. Inhale. Exhale forward. Good. Two more of these. Inhale. Last one. Exhale forward. Awesome. Sit up nice and tall. Set it back. Right hand. So it's a great way to open up the thoracic spine and also wake up the arms. Last one here. And we'll take the hands down. We'll cross up the ankles. We'll sit up nice and tall to the ground. Draw the chin down towards the chest. And then up towards the sky. Finding neutral with the neck. And let's get ourselves moving. Right? So we're going to come on forward and meet in downward facing dog. <clears throat> so setting up for downward facing dog, <clears throat> hands are going to come into the ultimate high five position. Finding neutral spine, tucking the toes. Go ahead and pedal the feet out. Just to wake up the back of the leg. Give the head a little shake towards the left. And then <clears throat> lifting up onto the balls of the feet, the sitting bones will reach up towards the sky, pressing down away into the mat. Set the heels down, face forward, inhale, bend the knees. We'll step up to the front of your mat, and forward fold. Keeping the knees soft, let's go ahead and roll all the way up to standing mountain pose. We'll shrug those shoulders up towards the ears and relax, and now down and away. Lift all 10 toes, create that connection with the feet. <clears throat> Exhale, all 10 toes come back down onto our mat. Inhale, take the hands together, interlace the palms, reach forward. Subtle tuck of the belly, posterior pelvic tilt, reach it up towards the sky. Inhale, reach. Exhale, side bend. Inhale, back to the center. Exhale, side bend. Inhale, back to the center. Our hands will come out to the T. Hip hinging, forward fold. Inhale, press into the shins to a flat back. And then we'll exhale, place the hands on either side of the front foot, then we'll step back, push up plank. Good. Breathe in here. Breathe out, pushing the mat away. Tip forward. We'll modify our vinyasa to start to step the knees down, lower the chest. Using our hands underneath the shoulders, we'll use the strength of our back muscles to come into our baby cobra. Exhale, let's go ahead and lower. Inhale, let's go ahead and step the toes. Push up into our modified plank. And find that we're facing dog. Breath in here. Breath out. Breath in. And breath out. Bring the feet a little closer together. Inhale, lifting the right heel up towards the sky, keeping the hips square to start. Giving an equal press through both arms. Take one more breath, lift the heel up a bit higher. And then as we exhale, draw the right knee towards the nose and set the foot forward. So we're in our runner's lunge. Let's take a moment here in our runner's lunge to 
<clears throat> actively reach our back leg, reaching it back. And then the, the front leg, this crease, hip crease, we're going to gently tug back as well. Take another deep breath. Exhale. Step back into our push up plank. Your option, knee down, or taking a full thing now to the lower half leg. Coming up into our, uh, our up dog. And then exhaling down with the dog. Step in the feet closer together. Go ahead and lift the left leg up towards the sky. Over point down. Breath in. Breath out. Lifting the heel. Breathe in. And then exhale. Draw the left knee in towards the chest. Get the foot follows in our runner's lunge. <clears throat> Gentle tug back here of our front hip crease. Let's open up through the chest. And then this time we're going to step forward to the front of the mat. So inhale, gaze forward, bending the back knee, step forward, forward fold. Inhale, press into the shin, flat back, exhale, forward folding. Inhale, roll all the way up to the hand, hands reach up towards the sky, and then go ahead and draw the hands to heart center. So we're going to build on that. <laughs> Inhale, arms will come all the way up. Exhale, we'll forward fold. Inhale, coming into our flat back. Exhale, step back to push up plank. We're in push up plank, drop the knees at any time. Otherwise, we'll inhale, tip the knees our weight forward. Exhale, lower. Inhale, come on up into our back bend. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right foot up towards I told the point down. Take a deep breath here. Open up the hips. Down dog hip opener. Keeping the top leg long, you reach the foot away from the body. Breathe in. Breathe out. Draw the right knee in towards the chest. Step the foot forward. We're in our runner's lunge. Quick check in with our alignment. Take a deep breath. Drop in the back knee. Inhale, arms will come on up. And here in our kneeling lunge, we're going to get into the psoas here. <clears throat> the arms will come on up. Grabbing the left wrist, we'll reach up tall. Exhale, side bending towards the right. Good. Breathe here. Breathe in again. And then exhale, take the hands and frame the front foot. Go ahead and pick up the back leg. Shoot the front foot back to the left. We're in our push-up plank. Inhale. Exhale lower. Breathe into our back bend. And then downward facing dog on exhale. As we breathe in, lift the left heel. Pressing our hands into the mat as if we're trying to rip the front half of the mat away from the bottom half. We'll take a deep breath here. Exhale, opening up into our down dog hip opener, keeping the top leg long. One more breath. Aiming for length here, we'll draw the left knee in towards the nose. Stepping the foot between the hands, go ahead and lower the back knee. As we breathe, sweeping the arms all the way up, settling into our kneeling lunge. Find that right wrist. Breathe in, making space in the spine. Exhale, side bend, left. Good, come back to the center. Exhale, framing the front foot, step the back foot forward. Inhale, come on up. Exhale, the lower. Stepping the right foot back. Knee will come down, inhale, arms up. Another breath in. Breath out. Breath in, hands framing the front foot. If the 
back knee up. So we're in our high lunge variation again. And we'll breathe in, bringing our, our torso upright. Sweeping the palms forward. Taking a breath in. Check in here. Pull back through that front, uh, front hip crease. Exhale, softening the back knee. We're going to open up thoracic spine twist toward the left. Taking a breath. Exhale, take this back arm. Let it rest on my opposite, my back leg. Reach in front arm forward. Super important to get big, create space. Then exhale into our little pretzel shape here. Inhale, we'll come back up to our T. And then we'll spin it forward into our extended side angle. Bending through this front knee. My top arm will reach up towards the sky. Thumb up towards the side. Framing the front foot, we'll take our right hand to the inner arch, pivot off this back toe. The left arm reaches up towards the sky. Lift the hips, breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in, lift. Exhale. Breathe out, runner's lunge. Step this front foot back, we're going to take a plank. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, lower. Inhale to our back bend. Exhale, down with the dog. Inhale, step the right foot forward. Back knee will come down, inhale, palms up. And then lunge, opening up the hips. One more breath here, kneeling lunge. Exhale, place the hands on either side of the front foot, pick up the back leg. Get strong through the leg, bring the torso upright. We're in our high lunge, inhale. Slight bend to the back leg. Exhale, twist towards the right. Good breath here, get off. Exhale. Good. Take this back up, or back arm. Smart, extended back leg. Reaching, left foot up towards the sky. Strong legs here, my back leg still has soft bend. Inhale, back up for a seat. And then we're going to pivot forward. My right, <clears throat> my right forearm on my right thigh. Inhale, left arm up towards the sky. Great place to be. Or spinning the pinky down, thumb up, extended side knee. Really working towards shifting the weight towards my back edge of my foot while my front knee works forward. Another breath in here. Exhale, framing the front foot. We'll step this, help this top foot back, knees all left, knees will come down, and shift it back into child pose. Coming up into the table. Take a few rounds of cat cow by dropping the belly, lifting the chest. Exhale, initiate the motion at the tailbone. Begin to tuck the tail, lifting the lumbar spine up towards the sky, mid back, close the chest. Inhale, unfurl, starting at the tailbone, dropping the belly button, dropping the chest, lifting the chest. Inhale, drop the tailbone. Begin to arch through the mid back, upper back, close the chest. 
and let's meet in a neutral. Walk the hands slightly forward. We're going to find our way to downward facing dog. Good. Breath in. Lifting the right foot up towards the sky. One more breath in. Open the chest. Open the hips. And then square in the hips. Draw the knee in towards the center line. Step the foot forward. Dropping the back knee. Inhale, palms will reach. And come into the heart center. Let's breathe in. All through the upper back. Exhale, rotating towards the right front leg. And then dropping our left elbow to the front knee. And our kneeling to the knee. Choosing to stay here, we're piling up the back leg, up toes, and lifting the back knee. Good. Breath in. Reach through the top of the head. Heel reaching back. One more breath in. Exhale. Place the hands on either side of the front foot and tip the hips back. Toes up towards the sky. A pyramid variation. Rocking it forward. Exhale, shift it back. Inhale, step the back foot forward. Inhale, come all the way up to stand, reach it up. Exhale, hands to the heart center. Good, got the other side. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, step into our flat back variation. Step back to push up forward. Inhale, tips forward, exhale, lower. Inhale, step on the back bend, and then exhale, down and facing down. Inhale, left foot up and back, opening up the hips. Let our down dog hip open our breath in. Exhale, draw the knee towards the chest. Step it forward and through. We're going to kneeling one, breathe in. Breathe out. Taking the hands to our heart center, we're going to begin to rotate. So I have my left foot forward. We're going to begin to rotate towards my left. And then taking my right elbow to the knee. In our twisting lunge, option to stay or tuck the back toes. Powering up the back leg, we'll inhale, we lift the knee. Create that plane, that opposition and then making room to twist. Inhale to lift. Exhale, rotate. Placing the hands on either side of the front foot, we'll shift it back into our pyramid variation. And forward. Exhale, shift. Inhaling forward, good job. Stepping our front foot back, push the right. Step the knees down, tuck toes, and we'll come up into here. So here with our tuck toes, it's pretty intense for the soles of the feet. It is an option, but it, if it is not working for your body today, untuck the toes and come into a comfortable seat. We're just going to take three breaths. Here. you or invite you to lift the shoulders on that last breath, rolling the shoulder blades down and away. Go ahead and come on forward. Take the toes and shift them around. And if you're already in a comfortable seat, meet you here. All right, so here we are in our comfortable seat, sitting up nice and tall, bring the fingertips out towards the side. We're doing an awesome job today. Inhale, come all the way up to a T. Exhale, hands up into heart center. Inhale, interlace, reach it forward, round through the upper back, and then poking the shoulders back in. Inhale, reach the palms up towards the sky. And then exhale, side bend towards the right. Back to the center, towards the left. Back to the center, release the palms. Just behind the hips, opening up through the chest. And 
and then allowing the chest, the spine to come to neutral. Let's get the shoulders working together with like a butterfly pose, a little bit of flexion, we feel good. So we'll get tall. Exhale, chin to the chest, and begin to roll into flexion. Lift the chest, long spine, and through the hips. Come on. Take your time coming out of your forward fold. And then taking the sole to the feet down to the earth. We we'll give ourselves a little hug. <clears throat> and then looking over the right shoulder. Inhale to center. Exhale over the left. Going back towards the center. I invite you to take the final relaxation on your back. So finding yourself into a comfortable position, extending the legs out nice and long, and then placing the palms alongside the body with the palms facing up towards the sky. And this is where I'll leave you. So I encourage you to take advantage of your final relaxation. After all, that's what we do all this work for, is to find stillness at the end of our practice. So um, hang out as long as you can. But if you're in a time crunch, you're totally get it. So at least try to hang for five breaths or so and just kind of walk me into the space and just appreciate being in that present moment. So I appreciate you. I appreciate your time commitment. So get yourself nice, comfy, and cozy. <clears throat>